uh, our laboratory is uh, the crypto laboratory and it was organized several years ago. I can say that the main idea of, uh, of the creation of it is to develop cryptography in Russia and namely in Siberia. So we know that uh, cryptography before 90s was classified, deeply classified in Soviet Union and uh, there are some problems in organization of uh, education and uh, science in this area in Russia. So it was important for us to create such such group and uh, for now um, it is the largest group uh, in Siberia uh, in cryptography. We have uh, 22 guys in our laboratory. There are some le uh, lectors and students, PhD and master and BS students uh, in our group. There are several uh, important events that we organize every year. One of them is International Olympiad in Cryptography. Uh, it was organized seven years uh, before. At first it was like a Siberian Olympiad in Cryptography, but now it is a well-known international event. And we have uh, thousands of participants from uh, 68 countries for all the time. So uh, it is organized via internet, so there are no restrictions uh, for participation. And the main idea also of this Olympiad is uh, to provide scientific problems and to invite young researchers to join us to uh, make some achievement in this area. Another event is uh, a school conference on cryptography and information security. It is uh, the school for students where they have some lectures and also some scientific work in projects and also they publish some results at the end of this uh, two weeks school. And this year um, it was organized in real, uh, in reality in Novosibirsk University. And there were 20 uh, lectures and 31 students. So all students were awarded by JetBrains Research at the end. And uh, it was very interesting uh, day by day work with them. So it was a good event. In relation to scientific results, I can mention two directions. Uh, one of them is related to differential cryptanalysis of block ciphers. It is a new area for us, and this is a joint work with our colleague from United States, from the laboratory related to standardization in cryptography. We study how to differences can be transformed via, via block cipher, namely what components will be active uh, with some special restrictions when we consider these differences, um, it's possible to imagine that we consider the block cipher as a black box and we study, uh, we put the first input into the, this box and consider the cipher text as output. Then we take another input uh, that uh, there is some difference between the first input and the second one. And we study what will be the difference between outputs. And there are very uh, different problems related to mathematical aspects of uh, this method, also for different schemes of the cipher. When we study phased schemes, uh, SP networks, and ARX ciphers, and so on, so on. There are some special mathematical problems, so one of them we study. Another direction is related to cryptographic Boolean functions. Uh, I'd like to mention that uh, in our laboratory, we have obtained classification of special class of APN functions in seven variables. These APN functions, almost perfect nonlinear functions, are very important for cryptography since they help to uh, defend the cipher against differential cryptanalysis. And uh, in my opinion, there is uh, uh, when, when you study cryptographic Boolean functions. Uh, there is a very short way, uh, short path from the theory, from mathematics to the applications in cryptography. For instance, if you provide a very good construction, mathematical construction of a cryptographic Boolean function, then it, uh, it's possible to use it in practice uh, immediately, like it was done for FIDES cipher. Or else in AES, also has a construction of APN function as a as box. So in our group in this year, 
there was a classification of quadratic APN functions in seven variables. We want to keep and develop real scientific spirit in cryptography in our group. We want to be honest with ourselves and every time do something really scientific, not something that it is good that is good for for this time, uh, that is interesting for somebody with uh, some not very good purposes and uh, to do something infinite and beautiful. <laughs> we want to have new results in quantum and post-quantum cryptography in blockchain technologies and also in area of cryptanalysis. In some sense, it's possible to say that the modern uh, symmetric cryptography, uh, namely standard of standards of different countries, uh, will start it from from such rotor uh, machines as Enigma. We all know the story of Enigma, the dramatic story of cryptanalysis of it. Many ciphers. Uh, continue the mathematical ideas that were uh, realized in this machine. For practice, we think about um, creation of new ciphers and new cryptographic protocols, and also about some international uh, competitions in this area. It is difficult, but we think about it. We invite everybody to participate in our international Olympiad in cryptography and. It is very easy to find it. Just put in the browser this word and you will find the site of our Olympiad. Join us.